In this section, we're going to dive into minor distribution. Minor distribution is one of the key measures of Bitcoin network security. In principle, the more distributed the miners are that secure the network, the more decentralized the network is, which means the network is less susceptible to a 51% attack. We're going to dive into these principles more in this section and answer the following questions. First, we will look at how Bitcoin mining works. We're not going to get too technical in our explanation here, but we need a basic understanding of the mining process to answer the next questions. Second, we will answer what is minor distribution and why is it important. Third, we will take a look at what a 51% attack is and the implications of such an attack. Lastly, we will find out how best to measure minor distribution. Let's begin by looking at how the Bitcoin mining process works. The term mining often makes people think of miners wearing hard hats, digging for gold or coins. In the digital world, there's obviously no digging, but the analogy still actually works quite well. Instead of having people dig holes, powerful computers solve mathematical problems in order to find the next Bitcoin block. Similar to mining in the real world, there is also a degree of luck involved with Bitcoin mining when it comes to finding the next block. To continue with the analogy, in the real world, miners use their pickaxes to dig holes in order to find the next gold nugget. The more holes the miners dig, the greater their chance of finding the next nugget. Also, the more miners you have, the more holes you can dig, and the greater your chance of finding the next gold. In the Bitcoin mining world, however, the miners are computers, which try to guess the solutions to complex computational maths problems, like digging, in order to get the next Bitcoin block reward, the gold nugget. And like in the real world, in the Bitcoin world, the more computational power you have, the more guesses you can make, and therefore the greater your chance of winning the next block reward. This of course can become problematic. Like in the real mining world, the more money you can spend on the equipment to mine, the greater your chances of finding the next gold nugget. This means the more capital you have, the more you can spend on equipment, which can lead to a concentration of power. This, we will find out, can lead to a big problem in the network. Before we delve into this issue, it's important to know that this mining process also secures the network. This is because by solving the computational problems, the miners verify transaction information, therefore making the network more trustworthy and secure. Let's now find out what miner decentralization is and why it's important. We now know that the miners secure the Bitcoin network by verifying and adding blocks to the network using computational power. This process is important to the network security because the more distributed the miners, the less likely it is that one of the miners will be able to overwhelm the network and change the blocks. Therefore, if the computational power is sufficiently distributed amongst independent miners, there is a lower likelihood that a single miner will control the majority of the computational power in a network. This brings us to our next question. What is a 51% attack? Luckily, a 51% attack is still a hypothetical attack, at least for the Bitcoin network. In theory, the attack could take place if a group of miners who own more than 50% of the computational power in the network take over the network and use their power to alter or prevent transactions. In this scenario, the attackers would be able to do two things. Firstly, they could stop new transactions getting confirmed, therefore allowing them to prevent payments between users. Secondly, they would also be able to reverse transactions that have already been completed, giving the attackers the ability to spend coins that were already recorded in the blockchain. This is obviously a very dangerous scenario, as it could potentially bring down the Bitcoin network, since all the trust in the network would be lost. From this perspective, preventing a 51% attack is crucial to the security of the Bitcoin network. So coming back to minor distribution, we can prevent a 51% attack provided that the computational power securing the network is sufficiently distributed amongst miners who are independent. Hence, the more distributed the computational power is, the less susceptible the network is to a 51% attack, which makes it more secure and more valuable to users. So, in our final question, how do we measure miner distribution? There are two ways we can measure it. The first is through a visual representation of miner breakdown, and secondly, with a market concentration measure. You can see a visual breakdown of miner distribution at www.blockchain.com. The good thing is that currently no mining pool controls more than 20% of the computational power of the network. A mining pool is basically a pool of miners who form an alliance to pool their resources and make the mining process more efficient and cost effective. Another good noticeable trend is that the hashing power of the Bitcoin network is becoming more distributed over time meaning the network is less prone to a 51% attack. Interestingly, it is actually in the miners' interests to keep the computational power more distributed since it makes the network less susceptible to a 51% attack. The less likely the network is to an attack, the greater the confidence the stakeholders have in the network and the more valuable Bitcoin becomes, thus meaning the greater the rewards for miners. 
Apart from using a visual representation, you can also use a market concentration measure called the herfindahl hirschmann Index, or HHI, to measure the distribution of miners. This measure is useful for measuring a market's susceptibilities to monopolies and tracks the competition amongst market participants. In the next section, I will take you through how you can calculate and track this measure.